Hi guys, welcome everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to yet another video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Very much welcome. So just in case you're new here, my name is Pili Papla. Thank you so much for tuning in to Pili Papla's Entertainment. Yeah, well, cool. You guys for coming. Thank you so much for your love and support. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video, you guys, to your friends and family, and even to your strangers. Please do pass uh, the link. Share it as much as you can, you guys. Thank you so much for your love, and also go other, on the other side and follow me uh, on Instagram. I Pilila underscore Papra on Twitter. I am P underscore Togolo. Then to get on TikTok, it is Pilila Papra one, you guys. Uh, and then Facebook page, it is Pilila Papra's Entertainment. So please go and follow your sister. Don't forget when you get there, you follow and then you like. I'm a post, you guys. Thank you so much for supporting. Okay, now let us get down to uh, Itumelen Kune's news. Uh, Itumelen Kune has been suspended by Ikeza Chiefs because he arrived drunk. Okay under the influence of alcohol this is kune pitching drunk for training so um good and then he got suspended you guys now as many lamino was saying is he still playing okay he's still playing but the problem is he got the drunk you know <laughs> so now you guys could see what kune pitched drunk and then he got suspended let's just go to the story and uh here former bafana bafana in case chiefs uh goal uh, keeper itumelen kune has been suspended by the club and um stripped of uh, the captaincy uh um, band. Okay, this comes after reports that Kune showed up for the team's training sessions showing signs of uh, someone under the influence of alcohol. So, going for training drunk, Kune was ordered to undergo tests, and uh, the results of the test reportedly confirmed that he was indeed drunk, which led to him being sent home. A statement released today said at the conclusion of the club's uh, rigorous disciplinary process last week, the committee has taken stern action. And decided that Itumere and Kune should be temporarily separated from the team until certain conditions have been are fulfilled. As a club that upholds the highest levels of professionalism in which discipline forms a key uh, component, Kesa Chiefs initiated an internal investigation after certain incidents involving Kune came uh, to our attention. The club said the investigation was important uh, in ensuring the proper functioning and unity within Abakosi. During his absence, Kune will be expected to attend and uh, actively participate in certain programs designed to support his personal growth and his personal growth and um, support his personal growth and development uh, which, uh, with support from the club. The statement read, the club added that the programs are specifically aimed at helping Kune address challenges and issues that he is facing. So, okay, he was stripped of his captaincy, you guys. Amakosi further stripped Kune of his um, captaincy Ampent. As case achieves, we believe in applying uh, corrective measures to achieve personal growth and we are committed to providing the necessary support to Itumelen Kune during this period. Once he has completed the required programs and met the set expectations, he will be welcomed back into the team. Kaiser Chiefs assured uh, their supporters that they remain committed to their core values of discipline, integrity, respect, and unity. We appreciate the unwavering support of our loyal supporters and encourage them to stand together with us as we navigate through this challenging phase uh, that reads the statement. So, guys, Bitiwa Ukune arrived, they drank, and then uh, they had to suspend him. So, but okay, anyways, he would be arriving there, you guys, as he is still part of Ikeza Chiefs. But now, um, he's stripped of his captaincy, and yeah, man, I, I don't know why, why, why would you go there drunk, Kune? Why are you going for training, Upozi? Like, I don't understand you guys, but anyways, he was uh, suspended. Uh, let me go at the back here and see if uh, my supporters are teen, you guys. Because obviously there is no way they can't say something. Um, let me see. City Press Utehona. After reportedly arriving at the club in uh, Naturena village with the smell of alcohol last week, Kune has been temporarily separated from Chiefs and stripped his captaincy. Okay, they're just saying... Um, Someone was saying here he's one of my favorite. Okay, <clears throat> so now he's we are trending here. You guys with Timelo Kune. Chief Kaiser Chiefs must make an example of Kune. He must leave Amakosi. This was someone, and Mamelo de Sata should sign him. Kaiser Mutawun was never told by the journalists uh, of this nonsense to sign Kune. He can't listen to you now. 
<laughs> I did not know you can. Well, guys, me now, of course, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a football baller, uh, uh, football lover, you guys. But yeah, I see the statement is here as well. So uh, as I will be throwing the statement on my screen, you guys, the statement that I read, it was part of the news that side. So okay, statement. This is we are a case of chiefs that was posted to the public. And then someone was saying, the statement is saying nothing. And then someone said, what took them this long? There is nothing in the story. and But there is the fact that Bob suspended because he was drunk. Uh, uh, save the read. Kune has been suspended, stripped of the captaincy, and is attending a rehab. How he progressed during her rehab will determine his future at the club. And then someone said, he must choose or retire, resign, or be fired at, or be fired at once. Anyway, he's uh, useless. This was someone without a trophy. This was someone you guys in the Nomuyawati are uh, favoritism at its best. If it was Zuma or any other player, they were going to terminate their contracts. I wish nothing but a relegation for this club. Then someone saying it's Kune's new role to be a leader for the juniors of the club. This club is clearly in drunk hands. If it's not Kune, it's Upobi at Angazi. <laughs> then Asaba again saying they drop. Anyways, you guys, because my battery is low, I have to go. Let us read this one. Someone said, I don't think under any normal circumstances, any person would decide to go work under the influence uh, of alcohol. Let us not judge him. He's going to be temporarily separated from the team until certain conditions have been fulfilled. And then someone posted me, I mean, saying, Mini, right now, you guys, and posted that picture of her funny face when she said, is he still playing? Something like that. And then someone said, this is awesome, beautiful, and wise decision, uh, commended i like the corrective measures taken by the institution some were expecting the worst uh they don't need him anymore they um and they don't know how to get rid of him he has also a uh, way too much overstayed at the club which has been very intimidating to all other goalkeepers while he's been leaking goals worse than any other goalkeeper for almost the past five years these were the case chief supporters i won't go any further you guys about my supporters after that so uh yeah they posted a minute i mean a lot with that uh, funny face when she said uh, does he still play <laughs> you know so now he arrives drunk and all that and he gets suspended and and all that i did not know you guys thought on the conversation because now my battery is low please don't forget to subscribe like the video and yeah i'll meet you again on my next upload bye